Now, the business side of boxing. Dad, how are you going to get him through the business side of boxing? Because I see stars. I mean, this guy is going to be have belts, you know. And I don't say that about too many people, but it takes work ethic. Right. How do you? How are you going to navigate that? Because you know how the boxing game is. You, oh, you, yeah. if boxing has destroyed itself with right. poor, poor management and this, that, and the other. How do you make that game work for you? Do you go the Roy Jones route, the Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather route, control your own stuff? What are you doing? For- um, well, that that's kind of like, for me, that's not a hard task because I come already from a business aspect as far as like um, – I got a degree in music engineering also as well. So okay. we do music. And coming from the realm of also music, I know how to self-promote market from the independent aspect. So, you know, as far as your music, independent is uh, in today's time, it's you don't really need a major label anymore. You know what I'm saying? You can self-distribute. I'll give an example right here. We're in the Crenshaw District, right? Right. So you guys know about Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, One of the prime yeah. examples of best independent, Sorry. being independent, oh. what that looks like. You know what I mean? Making the value so high where they come to you. Well, that's the same type of method we're going to go apply in the actual boxing game. But see, you don't see it too often in the boxing game. But you've seen it in music more often. Mm -hmm. But in boxing, you don't really see it. You might see limited few people that might have done it. Roy Jones, um, maybe one of the few people right now that's done it is uh, uh, um, Devin Haney and people like that. But most people, they kind of got to go attach themselves to a promoter. Us, we're not going that way. You know, with my son, because of the background with music and the business that I do, and and just being in the industry, because music business promoting is no different than boxing promoting. It's the same aspect. You know, all all they care about is how many people can you put in the seats, period. So my son, his following at this point right now is not to be braggadocious in any way, but it's strategic. It's, It's a plan. He has more followers than most average people that already are pro that have a five and oh, eight and oh, ten and oh career, you know, and that's crazy for him to be 16 still in the amateurs with such a higher value than these people that are already professional but can't fill up the seats at the uh, at the at the at the right. venue. So right. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's strategic for me. So to answer your question, what am I doing? I'm not afraid of the business because I'm not banking on people. I'm banking on myself. So if we create the value right, see this, we self branded. Right. We, we market and promote ourselves everywhere we go. And that's the value that if we create enough of it, like I gave the Nipsey aspect, they'll come to you. You don't have to come to them. You wow. know what I'm saying? Wow. So when you worth something, yeah. 